guys welcome to my channel where we'll be discussing family faith hope and love i'm so glad that you joined me let's be fed daily bread are you hungry this message find you doing well you have joined me on my digital journey yes this is my digital journey and I have been led by the Holy Spirit to drop you golden nuggets each and every day if this is your first time tuning in go ahead subscribe to my channel and please share it with your family and with your friends hello to my family hello to my friends thank you so much for joining me on my digital journey Thank you so much for your words of encouragement. Thank you so much for your support. What I'm going to be talking to you today about is the word boring. Yes, boring. When the Holy Spirit gave me this word, I was like, Holy Spirit, what is it? What direction do you want me to go in and talk about boring on this platform? And it could have been numerous of things but I was so excited when he literally showed me what direction that I was to go with this particular message now if you've been following me this is like day 931 into this journey um, I think this is episode 382 so I've been in deep but there is nothing boring about my journey. I have not been bored, not one day, not frustrated, not lacking interest, nothing of that sort. Every day throughout this journey is like, what's next? What's next, Holy Spirit? But this is not the way that most people live their lives. It's not. I can honestly say so because you usually see a pattern. It's like you get up, you set your alarm clock, you wake up, you go to a job. Majority of the people are doing things that they're not passionate about, but they show up because they pay their bills. And it's like a... It's like a schedule. It's like there's nothing to it. Then they get excited for the weekend. And it's like, well, what did you do for the weekend? I was so exhausted. My week was so frustrating. I didn't have time to do anything. And then it's like a cycle again. Most people dread Mondays. I tell you. I was like, to me, every day is a Friday. Because people get so excited about Fridays. But you're supposed to be excited about every day. God did not create us to be bored. He did not create our life to make it boring by no means. So this golden nugget for today is just showing you the ways of life that God wants to just give you a clear picture. Like for instance, have you ever seen the architect the building for in Russia Google it the architectural structure on those buildings is no way boring they are so fascinating I personally would like to see them but they'll have to be in a book because I am not jumping on a plane going to Russia no time soon so I will enjoy them just looking on the internet or looking at a book and saying that they are magnificent have you ever seen the landscape of switzerland there's nothing boring about that at all have you ever seen the ice glaciers in the antarctica there is nothing boring about that at all so if you see where i'm going you will now see that what I'm talking about 
the nature they were created by God. The architectural buildings and structures, a man created those, but God had to give him the gifts and talent to be able to come up with those visions to make those buildings so beautiful. There is nothing boring about God, Jesus, nor the Holy Spirit at all. Okay? Jesus is king. He is sitting on the throne. There is nothing boring about a kingdom at all. As a child, I can remember whenever anything came up about the Queen of England and they have any festivities, you glue to the TV. Even though it was from a Caribbean island, it's like, okay, all stations are going to post everything. They're going to stop all the programs so that we can view what is happening in the Queen kingdom in England so we can see the beautiful horses, the uniform soldiers. I mean, it's amazing. Whatever transpires is nothing boring about it at all. There are so many moving pieces to it. So everybody just has their part and it's literally exciting. It's spectacular. You're intrigued. You want to see what is going on and it piques your attention. So one way of thinking about this kingdom life, if you think it's boring, that means you don't have any interest in it. So let's weigh the scales here. Don't you think, or aren't you not bored yet with your actual life that is not bearing any fruit whatsoever? Showing up, doing the same thing every day and trying to get different results? Of course, that's the definition of insanity. I'm here to tell you that there's another way of life there's another way of living. There is kingdom business, kingdom ways that will pull you in and make you into this new person that gives you so much excitement in life. At church, they call me the cheerleader because I am always like gung ho, like, woo, yay, Team Jesus. I'm ready to learn. 2 Timothy 2.15 is like, study to show thyself approved unto God. I want to know what the kingdom has to offer. I am that person like me. I'm here. I'm participating. I'm in. I want to know everything that there is to know. When I first started this um, journey 931 days ago, the scripture that I talked to you about the, was the book of Deuteronomy. And in the book of Deuteronomy, one, it is specifically showing us how we can get out of that mindset of being things of just being mundane. Like it was Moses bringing the people out of Egypt to show them a better life. And I'm here to show you and tell you that life does not have to be boring. Life is what you make it to be. And if you're with God, there's nothing boring about God. There's nothing boring about this world. There's nothing boring about life. That is the golden nugget for today. There is nothing boring about life. Life is exciting. Life is full of blossom, flowers, spring. Life is everything that you make it to be you can bloom wherever you're planted you just have to make that conscious decision that you're going to change how you look at life and change your lens and make it as exciting and as fascinating and as amazing and as spectacular as god and his kingdom is i need you to know that the word of God proves to be true. Yes, it does. And God himself is a shield to all of us who come to him and ask him for protection. And we can also ask him for excitement. Don't be shy. He can point you in the right direction. The Holy Spirit will be glad to accommodate you and show you a different and a new way of life. So you no longer have to be bored. There's nothing boring about the kingdom. Join us today.
I ask this question each and every day. Are you hungry? I know that I am. So let's be fed. Daily bread. <music>